Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Auditor of Hermacraft. So the goal for the day is yeah, make a couple of those create mod drills and try to do some automatic mining. So I guess I'm just gonna start with a simple setup, see how everything works and learn a bit, and then maybe a couple episodes or next time already we can make a bit more sophisticated machine. But yeah, small steps. Okay, let's actually start with a quick update on the crops. I was actually hoping that potatoes and the pumpkins might survive the winter. Look good until end of January, but now that have February, yeah, they still died. Okay, I think I'm just gonna pick up the seeds and soon we can actually plant them again. Okay, now let's make a couple of those drills here. They're actually not that expensive, cost you yeah, basically one iron ingot and some igneous alloy and an igneous casing. I think it's basically like three iron ingots. Um, let's actually check how much do we have left. Uh, got, oh, I don't have it that much. We got like 40 here. How much crushed iron do we have? Oh, we can only make a limited amount. Can maybe make like 30 or so or 25. I mean, it would already be quite good. Okay, let's also quickly check out what you can even do with those things. So you can yeah, attach them to your machinery and then mine blocks in front. Costs you a certain amount of stress units. But on a moving contraption, it actually doesn't take you any like extra stress units. So technically you can attach a hundred of those to a moving machine. Then you only need to power the part that actually moves stuff. So that's going to be really convenient. I think it also shows here, whenever drills are moved as part of an animated contraption, double break blocks, the contraption runs into. So they basically spin by itself without having to provide any you know, stress units. And if we can even yeah, attach a chest here on top, and then automatically picks up the items as well. It's actually so OP, but <laughs> definitely gonna use that. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I think I'm gonna heat up some of the... Crushed iron ore. Oh, actually, I have another idea what we can do first. Um, so we already upgraded a charcoal, or some of it, actually low on the lignite. And a charcoal to lignite. We can actually further upgrade it to bituminous coal. And the big advantage of that, it burns at brilliant white for also 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Why is this important? Well, if I would now put in the crushed iron into the crucible, it doesn't even melt because the crushed iron, I think it shows the melting point here. Yeah, it melts at brilliant white. So if the, the normal lignite, we can't even reach the heat. And then I have to stand next to it and activate the bellows all the time. So if I would just make some of the bituminous coal and use that instead, yeah, then we can just um, run the machine as usual without having to use any bellows. So this would be really nice. So in order to yeah, make it, we just need the mixer. No heating required, important. We still can't make the coal forge without the flint and steel. And yeah, we need some coke powder on top. So let's see what we need for that. Currently, black sand through the crushing wheels for 20% chance. Okay, already looked on a map earlier. Not too far away, there is small black sand beach. And then if we even go further up, I think there's even a larger one. Here's a larger one. It goes south. I think we only have a lot of brown sand. Yeah, that's about it. So I guess that's really the closest black sand beach. So I guess I'm just gonna head out there, probably like 1500 blocks, and get some of that black sand. Oh, this is really just a small beach. Not a lot of black sand around. Uh, let's just take this one layer. I guess on the other side it's a little bit. Oh, that's not much. Only 35 coke powder. Okay, let's make some lignite first. And now let's upgrade it. I'm just gonna throw everything in there. There's no second recipe for coke powder. That's literally the only use of it. Okay, let's see how much we will get. Probably like 35, no more. Oh, maybe a stack, neat. 51. Okay, let's try this out. I wonder if it's actually gonna you know, heat up things quicker, but I think it's just gonna burn hotter. Okay, fire starter. And let's put literally our last crushed iron in there. 
I, I feel like I should actually get more. But, uh, Iron Vein is so close, I think I'm just actually gonna run and get, get a bit more. Okay, let's see. Very hot. Very hot two stars. So it definitely doesn't heat up quicker. I think it's just gonna yeah, burn hot and get up to Brilliant White. Okay, yellow two. That's what we usually reached with the normal Lignite or Charcoal. No, it was actually yellow white two. Yellow white two. Yellow white three. Danger. White danger. Perfect. And it melts. Oh yeah, I almost forgot when heating up... Oh, this actually goes really quick now. What? Why is it so quick now? Probably because there's more inside? I'm not sure. Still don't know exactly how the Crucible works. Look how quick this is! <laughs> Why? It's actually crazy. I mean, it depends how filled up the, the Crucible is. It's slowed down again. Okay. This is also definitely fun to watch. <laughs> Can't get enough of this. I was also thinking about already maybe using the mechanical drills for a little bit of mining. I don't think they're gonna help too much, just for curiosity's sake, I guess. Doubt it's gonna help much, especially gathering iron ore. So right now it's mostly for getting stone, I feel like. Um, but I need to provide yeah the drill or the in this case, I guess the mechanical piston with some stress units. So a windmill would probably be the best choice. Underground windmill. Problem is, I don't have any sails left. Those are the last two. I actually don't want to stop the, the main <laughs> windmills, take sails from there. I can also make a couple more, but for the sails, you always need igneous alloy, of course. I just used up the, the last one. There's another recipe, right? So I always use the, the crushed iron ore and the magma blocks. So there's a nickel, which you don't have, and zinc. Oh, desperate times, I guess. I have some of the sphalerite or zinc left. Let's check. There's actually plenty. I may take a couple, like two stacks or so. I can probably make a good amount of sales. Don't think I have jute fiber. That is already... No, I only have normal jute. I would need to soak it. But there was some wool left in the string, right? Yeah, I can take that. Make a couple more sails. Then we also need a mechanical piston. I'm just gonna go for something uh, yeah, simple. So, and piston extensions. I think those also require like a plank and igneous alloy. All right, I'm gonna make all of this. I'm also really considering setting up the automatic loom permanently somewhere, maybe on the first floor. So here, definitely don't want it. Lack of space, maybe somewhere we don't go that often. Here, just want like, basically a universal setup that we can rebuild and so on. Also, I was thinking maybe an igneous casing maker would be nice. It's not a lot of work, but there's a couple steps. So placing a lock, stripping it with the axe, then applying the alloy, and then mining it. This can all be automated. It would be quite fun to do. Okay, let's head out to the mine. I hope I brought enough stuff to set this up. So there we go, got the windmill bearing. Now, according to the ponder index, the mechanical piston needs four times RPM. And a windmill with 16 sails can generate 1,024 stress units. So technically, a yeah, windmill with 16 sails can run as a 256 RPM. Not entirely sure. Maybe we should actually just set it up smaller first. Uh, here we get some space. Okay, this can actually get real jank. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe we should go one higher. Even. Then we can have the gearbox directly below already. Okay, so like this, and I can just run the shaft over there, and there's a gearbox up. Oh, actually, I still need the rotation speed controller. Um, it's also cramped in here. So we want to rotate it the other way. Okay, then big cog wheel. Didn't bring any, no planks inside. Oh no, I gotta run back again. Honestly, not the prettiest setup, but let's hope it works. Okay, let's turn this on first. It's probably gonna shove me to the side. Um, okay, let's actually reconsider this. Might be better if you have the sails a bit higher up. Yes, up there. So we got nine. 
Is that already it? Maybe here? One more? This should be 16. Okay, let's turn this on. Oh! Gotta flip those so they actually connect. Let's see? Yeah, okay. Now it spins. Let's just add another cogwheel there, and then it should actually start to push it forward. Unless it's spinning the wrong way. Um, but I kinda expected this. That's why I actually made a couple more gear shifts. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, and now it starts drilling. Does it now tell me how many stress units we need? 96, is this like an expected value? I think we are at 12 RPM. And it's at four times the RPM. No, it's actually higher. Um, okay, then I guess we can go up to 128 at least. With broader stress on meter. Now it's 1024. Okay, but. Uh, what is this? Am I getting ghost blocks? Let's actually reverse the direction real quick. What was that? Okay. Now it's kind of stuck in there. Um, so as far as I can tell, I already tested it a little bit. The create mod machinery doesn't cause cave-ins. But if I would now start digging around here, we have an issue. Okay, I guess we're just gonna place some sort of block there and make a support and dig this out. Okay, so let's see what happened there. Probably gotta free it completely. I guess while we're playing around with the speed controller, kind of skipped mining some blocks and then came back or something like that. Okay, I think we can pull it back now. Okay, now it's getting stuck on the support. There we go. Okay, now we can pull it back. Let's check the chest. So we got some hematite from it. Which be perfect with the chests now. I should probably also place a chest for myself where I can put in stuff. It's always really convenient. Started doing this. Always if I do a project, I'm gonna place a chest next to where I work to drop off some unnecessary stuff. Okay, food always good. Just for now. Okay. This goes actually super quick. <laughs> Way faster than I expected it to be. Uh, let's see. Now it's just, yeah, now it should just mine. Without any interruptions. Okay, so it's kind of working. Or is it inside of blocks again? No, it's just visual. It's a bit weird. Maybe the speed is actually too high. Now we actually ran out of pole length already. Got stuck again. So it's clearly running this too fast or something. Oh, it's not a sticky piston. Ah. What if I pull it back even the first time then? Was it because it's too far away? I think it also has some sort of limit. What does it say here on top? Movement mode, always place when stopped. Place only in starting position. Ah, okay. So while this is actually moving, it's in an entity form. I guess if you do this, then it can't get stuck on stuff. But we actually already had it in place only when, when stopped. Place only when anchor destroyed. That's I don't know. I guess place only in starting position would be the best mode for us. Okay, um, but it's actually a, a sticky mechanical piston as far as I know. Might be the better choice. This one here. Just need the mechanical piston and glue or a slime ball. You can actually also get slime balls. A stow and lime dye which you can get from cactus green with also certain flowers. So we don't need to use the pandas, don't worry. Let's see if we can pull it back now. Nope. Is it? It's probably getting stuck there. To me it looks like it's inside of blocks. Okay, uh, same again. Safety. Can just place it on top of stuff. Safety. Let's try to dig this out. 
Why is this getting stuck? Is it because of the glue somehow? I just don't know. Hmm. So I wanna try this again. This time, three blocks over. Okay. Do I just need the piston extensions? Can pick up those. Let's see what it does this time. I think I'm also gonna slow this down. I had a feeling it's a bit too fast anyway for what we're doing here. Um, let's go 32. Okay, let's turn it on. It's definitely mining. Now, of course, it takes a little bit longer. Does the job definitely mines way faster than I could. And we get a really clean result. So I wonder if pulling it back works now? Yes, it does. Okay, sweet. Okay, then let's actually shift forward. And then we can actually attach more piston poles in the back, but we might be in the wrong mode now. Um, we're in this mode. Always place when stopped. Well, it stopped. Oh, I think I did something. Always place when stopped, yes. Can I just add stuff in the back now? If I pull it back real quick and extend it again, it's gonna keep mining. Okay, did it stop? It's still going forward. I think I would need to break the shaft or something to add more piston extensions in the back. Because that works. It's not clean, but it works. Uh, I would need a clutch, actually, and I didn't bring in one. Did I? Should I just... I'm gonna run back and get a clutch, so it's more convenient. Okay, so now we can stop it at any time and just add more in the back. Okay. It's actually thinking about pulling it back for a moment. And stopping it. And try to run it faster again. <laughs> I feel like it might just work. It's 128 again. Let's see if it breaks. It's really the speed that was causing the issue earlier. It's fine to me. Yep. Okay, let's stop it real quick. I'm curious if this one chest I added is actually enough. How much is in there yet? Look at that! <laughs> really good amount. This will actually take me quite some time to mine all of the death side myself. So this is of course quite useful because I can turn it into magma blocks. Okay, so for mining the iron ore, I doubt it would help too much. But look at it, actually uncovered some more on the ground. So this is kind of helpful. Um, I was thinking should maybe have another one here, maybe a 2x6 this time. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna shift some of this back and then we can mine a little bit in that direction. Okay, next attempt, first at normal speed. Let's turn it on. What? Oh, it's turned purple whitehead. <laughs> that looks like it's working. Okay, um, I'm just gonna stop it here real quick with the, with the clutch, this one here. And then I'm gonna change the speed. I had a suspicion that like changing the speed earlier maybe caused it to fail somehow. Okay, let's turn it back on. Yeah, looks like it's mining. Oh my god, this is getting close. This could be my second death, unless I can make it into the water. <sighs> Made it. Ooh, boy. Okay, so now I move the whole thing one block over. And it keeps mining. I was thinking about actually making a longer tunnel. Maybe you could run into something interesting. Uh, stopped? Oh, of course. Extension. Oh, looks like the chests have filled up already. Let's actually pull it back. Here it comes. Oh, one more. <laughs> there we are. Oh, actually not. Why did it drop normal items then? 
I guess instead of completely removing this and placing it again, I can also quickly use the mechanical piston to move it over by two. Let's just need a gearbox there real quick. Gearbox, there it is. And then two piston extensions. Okay, place it here. Yep, can break it again. And placing it in the back. Of course later, I looked into this already a little bit, there's gantry shafts and other cool things <laughs> that help you automate stuff way more. But for now, I think it's actually pretty nice to try it out. Okay, running out of shafts. You can just hook it up a couple blocks further to the right. Okay, so I stopped the machine again. Yeah, I guess if you would keep digging, you would get a lot more of just those plain tunnels. That's what the terrain mostly looks like in Terraformer Craft. There's the occasional cave here and there, like in vanilla, but in the walls, it's not like there's iron ore and coal ore, like in vanilla everywhere. No, it's actually quite rare to, to find those veins, but that's why they're also so huge. So there's a reason why a prospector pick says found nothing so often. There isn't much. Okay, um, yeah, empty this already. I can pick up everything. I think this was actually pretty neat. I can quickly check the toolbox, how much I've got. Definitely a nice amount of iron was in there. Oh, there's even more. Don't want to miss out on that stuff. Yeah, let's check the toolboxes real quick. Then I pick up the rest of the stuff. So we got yeah, a whole stack of rich. Normal, poor, and a bit more over here. So this is definitely enough to make more of those drilling machines. So of course, if I would have had more than those 12 or 14, if I had like 36 or something like that, or later 500, then of course it's even more worth it. Okay, time to turn the crusher on again. It's actually so satisfying. Oh, this, there was still some coke powder in there. Oh, okay. And now it's incoming. <laughs> so good. Okay, also look at this amount of cobalt. But it take a long time to mine it all. And yeah, here we got 80, 96, 112, 124 iron ingots basically. That means I can already make like 40 more drills. But of course that would also require a lot of igneous alloy and therefore magma blocks again. But now that we have the crucible, then the bituminous coal, which can yeah, burn to brilliant white. You actually need um, something hotter than yellow white in order to actually turn the cobble into magma. And yeah, of course, all the desert cobble we got for mining can definitely make a lot of magma blocks now. Unfortunately, I tried this already. It seems like you can't take items automatically out of the crucible, for example, for funnel, something else. Later, once we find a magma source, or yeah, could move it even. Then we could also use the fan and just you know, throw some raw stone apparently in front of it. And we get the raw stone by throwing some cobble first in front of it. But yeah, we can do that later. All right, so this was our first attempt at mining with the drills. Definitely a nice introduction to the concept. There's a huge potential, of course. I already looked into a little bit. Once actually we can use minecarts and assemble stuff on top, it's gonna get really crazy. Um, really looking forward to that. Hope you guys do. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.